Welcome to Your Cyber Path, the podcast that helps you get your dream cybersecurity job by sharing the secrets of experienced hiring managers and top cybersecurity professionals with you. Now, on to the show. So you've got the kind of active directory to passwordless challenge, which today is predominantly solved because almost every single vendor in this space realizes they've got to have an active directory solution. Our second challenge was, all right, I've got seven different vendors that support my banking operations. And every single one gives me a different piece of data that come together, provides a dashboard for my customer. ACH is a different provider from your account balance, which is very different from your, the list of all your transactions. All of those are very different. They come hmm. from different sources. And so I've got to authenticate you. And some of those systems, uh, Kip and Jason are so old. They're like, well, yep. we use SAML 2.0. And your technology is OIDC. So now you're literally trying to build bridges to complement all tech to the new tech. Yep. Yeah, you basically have to create all the middleware to be able to do the translations. <laughs> right. And that's what right. we did. We had to create a bunch of middleware and then we had to pen test it. We had to run it through extensive testing, regression testing, load balance testing, because you got to make sure it can handle right. traffic. What happens when 100,000 people want to go in and do X and simultaneously for whatever reason right? yeah well i think the other the, the other problem you know you guys chose to use the the, the mobile phone as the device and i hear that's exactly what google and apple and microsoft are, are leaning towards is this is the answer to everything it will let you log into everything well the one challenge and you talked about knowing your users is i came from the government space and i worked right. in a lot of places that these are not allowed in the building i had right. to leave this in the car and back in 2020, 2021, when we all decided to start shifting to Microsoft Teams in the government and to authenticate and log into Teams the first time, you had to get a one-time code and it was only good for five minutes. So I remember being in the basement no. of my skiff, trying to log in on my unclassified machine to be able to do Teams. And I would have to run up the stairs, up the <laughs> elevator, three flights, get my phone from the locker, get outside, get to a place where I can get signal get the code and then run back down downstairs oh, no. so I can authenticate myself. And I had to do that like five times until I made it in that, you know, hundred yard dash in that five minutes, because the way that the system was done and, you know, with passwordless authentication going to using a, a, a digital cert that's only on this phone, I would have to have the phone in the room with the computer. And that doesn't work for everybody because if you're in a power plant and you're in the basement of a power plant, you may not have cell phone signal. You may not have Wi-Fi. If you work in a, in a government top secret facility, you're not allowed to have these in there. And so all of those become challenges that we then have to say, well, we're still going to support passwords for those folks, or we're going to have this other physical key that gets us a, a satellite. You're going to have the yeah, RSA the basement. key. That, but that doesn't even work in, in some places. It won't work if you're in a basement, right? Because it's not getting the signal with the GPS satellite to make sure it's on time and all those things. So these are all implementations that like, you're right. For your users, like 90% of our users are mobile. Great. And if you're only going to support mobile users, well, you just told the other 10%, we don't want your business, right? Well, um, I, I, or you got to find a way, right? <laughs> so what, what we did, just, just to be very clear, what we ended up doing was we launched with the mobile app solution only. Within two weeks after we launched, we had the web app ready to go. And our web app was very simple. It was the WhatsApp solution, yep. right? Jason, you went in, you put in your email address, you got a QR code, you had to scan it on your phone. It took you to our mobile app, which then authenticated, kicked off the token to the web app and said, yep. J this is Jason trying to log in. Now we leverage device-based biometrics and this goes to your Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, Android type of conversation you had to have some level of security on your device for this to work. Yep. If you had an iPhone and, and, and you didn't use anything to log in, you couldn't open an account. Mm. That was another challenge we had right with user adoption. And some people had old devices where they had a four digit passcode, right? Yep. Like if you used an old iPhone six or seven, those didn't mm -hmm. have the six digit They had the four, the four digit one. And yep. then there was the, then there was the confusion. The confusion around biometrics. So yep. everyone, when you, Apple doesn't even know your biometric data as far as we know. And I say that yep. as far as we know, because Apple claims that they don't store any of the biometric data anywhere in their environment. It's stored directly on your phone. When you wipe your phone, the biometric data is wiped as well. There's, there's some truth to that because every time I've gone to DEF CON or Black Hat and we've tried to kind of take advantage of that and we, we've wiped phones clean and then tried to redo the, biometrics, you've always had to redo your biometrics. Mm. So as of right now, I haven't seen anyone break 
that method or prove Apple wrong. Right. So when you're leveraging those biometrics, there's an education with the average consumer or average employee, by the way, to go, well, I don't want to give you my fingerprint. I don't want to give you my facial ID. And you're like, you're not. We're just leveraging that tech in your phone. <laughs> yep. It's, it's hard to, it's hard to know that you are. It's hard to know the difference. People don't yeah. know the difference. It's hard to know. It's hard to know. 